Now, as we've just heard, provisional results from East Timor's presidential election indicate the incumbent, Jose Ramos Horta, has lost his bid for a second term. He's running third in Saturday's poll after a count of something like 70% of the vote. Professor Damien Kingsbury is a coordinator for the Australia Timor Leste Friendship Network and he joins us on the phone from East Timor. Good morning to you. Thank you for your time. Just how significant is it that East Timor will have a new, uh, a, a new president? Well, it's significant, uh, of course, in that we're seeing the passing of at least part of a generation. Jose Ramos Soto was one of the few founding members of Freshland. And uh, to see him being at the beginning of East Timor's struggle for independence, now seeing it through, uh, being in the role of foreign minister, prime minister, president, and now finally bowing out. It's, it's a, a momentous occasion. And he's expected to give a concession speech later on today, isn't he? Yes, that's expected at 11 o'clock local time, which is about 1 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard. And he is expected to uh, announce that he was not successful in his bid. I think the numbers now show very clearly that he's uh, not going to get into the second round. Uh, that Tamatan Ruck, the candidate supported by the Prime Minister, Jelana Grishmao, and Fredland's candidate, Francisco Gutierrez, will go through to the second round on quite, uh, quite strong votes. And how was the vote cast? Was it peaceful and was there a good voter turnout? Yeah, look, it was an excellent process. It was, um, I've been here for each of the uh, electoral processes since 99 and this was uh, far and away the most peaceful. Indeed, there were no reports of any violence or any intimidation anywhere. We had over 50 observers across the country uh, and certainly got reports from other people. Everything, uh, everything has gone very smoothly. The, the elections were actually handled by these Timor's authorities for the first time in their entire entirety, and they did a very good job of it, uh, which is a good sign given that Timor is now heading towards uh, a transition, moving away from the United Nations assistance later this year. Uh, and that it's peaceful also indicates that Australia can now look at uh, drawing down its, um, its troop involvement here with, I think, a fairly high degree of security that the, the future here will be stable. And Professor Damien Kingsbury, I actually wanted to ask you about that. UN forces are due to leave later on this year and general elections are due to be held in June. How is the new democracy coping? Well, it appears to be going really well at the moment. There's, look, there was an explicit agreement between political leaders that they would rein in their supporters to ensure that there wasn't any violence. But I've seen uh, political rallies, which in the past, when they met each other, if, if they met each other, probably would have resulted in violence. Uh, this time around, we've seen handshakes, so it's been, been a, a major turnaround. And I think everybody's quite relieved that they've now made this shift towards a peaceful process. Um, certainly, this is the first of three rounds of elections. We have the second presidential round next month and the parliamentary election in June. But it's a very good sign for those elections. And if, if we can maintain that uh, level of stability and peace here, then this really augurs very well for East Timor's future. Professor Damien Kingsbury, thanks for your time this morning. That's my pleasure. Thank you.